This is Ripo, and this is Practical Plan Mode. Alright guys, we're still on the uh, Space Marines Terminators, and uh, right now we're uh, I'm, uh, preparing them uh, preparing them to uh, to be painted. And uh, just a bit more on the uh, pre-paint modifications. Uh, one modification I'd like to uh, I like to do. Uh, on um, on mini guns are holes there, mm -hmm. and that's fairly simple to do. Just get a pin vise there. And that's my set. Get the smallest ones. Uh, in my case, that would be the uh, one millimeter uh, bit there, tiny tiny bit. Okay, and you just simply have a hole drilled like so not too deep okay just a few turns will do and do your best to have them aligned more or less there okay so We've just put holes on a storm bolter. There. Okay. There. Alright, so uh, we'll be preparing the marines to be painted. Okay, so you're probably want probably wondering why the uh, marines are uh, on top of the bottles. Uh, they're actually mounted on the bottles, and uh, I do that so that uh, I can easily have them uh, handled during painting. Now you can also do this by taking some glue tack, okay? Uh, this removable adhesive. You can buy this at any at any uh, hardware or stationery supply store, and then uh, have it mounted on the base and have okay. After applying that, you can have the figure firmly mounted on a paint bottle. There. Okay. So, ready to paint. Okay, so it's time to uh, have um, to have some painting done. And for for the case marines, I'll be uh, be coating them in black first. So, uh, I'm using water-based acrylics like uh this one it's 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 a semco and um it's water based so there's no problem with it give it a little shake okay then before loading it into a brush i use my bathroom tile over here it serves also as my palette okay so put a generous amount on the palette and then load the brush with some okay if you feel that if it's too thick then have it rubbed away with a rag okay rub some into a rag and then you don't have to be neat in this uh, particular process just have it be coated like so Make sure that the figure is covered in the undercoat. There, if you can see it. There we go. I'm using a base brush, by the way. Uh, it's it's uh, made for for that purpose. It's an old brush. It's it's an old. Let's see here. Six number six brush and if you can see uh, the uh, bristles are splayed so yeah go over the recesses 
there. Would help if you can also go to the vents. Like so. Don't have to be neat. It's actually a fun. Uh, this is actually a fun part for me. Because uh, I don't have to. Don't have to be precise. <laughs> Just have black all over. All over your. All over mini. There we go. Okay, so so uh, to prevent paint from uh, accumulating inside the uh, recesses, uh, just brush away from them. Okay, there. And any excess should be wiped off a rag. So there. And don't forget the undersides. There, there, there. Okay. So we have one wonderfully base coated already. I missed that spot. Okay. Almost missed that. There. Make sure it's 100% covered, or at least near that. Don't have to be neat. There's no uh, paint in one direction kind of rule here for base coat. So, there. Okay. And all that we have to do now is to paint the others and wait for them to dry. Alright, so I've got them all uh, base painted here along with their uh, their parfis par that I've uh, uh, mounted with paper clips. Now, you might be wondering why one is missing and that's because I've already had one uh, finish or at least 90% uh, finish and I all I did it all with uh, a dry brush technique and I'll show you that right now okay so we'll take a terminator and using the same base brush that I'm using uh, we'll be using um, um, this bolt gun metal from uh, Citadel and what I do usually is to uh, dip the brush into the bottle first just very lightly and then wipe some off the lid and then oh, we're not finished with that though um, I uh, wipe that off I wipe, wipe the uh, brush off with a rag also and then and then I start that's that's when I start uh, dry brushing it onto a terminator so here we have and here I have one and the way the way we do it is to uh, to just brush it lightly on the surface on the engravings like so quick and quick and uh, light touches on the engraved surfaces so if you can see it there the gunmetal will show there. Let's have it with the gun. Let's have it with the let's have it with the storm bolter. Okay. See there? The paint actually goes only on the race surfaces. Now I don't know if uh, that will register properly in the camera, but as you can see, uh the crest, the eagle crest is um now more lightly colored than uh, the rest of the body and that's because of uh, the dry brush okay so more and more more dry brushing don't worry if your if your paint is uh, a little bit faded or well it seems like that because 
uh, that's that's the dry brushing effect. Okay. Okay. So uh, I had I have the ter uh, determinator painted up, and uh, Sergeant is pretty special because for one thing he has uh, extra features, uh, extra details, and he has a bare head and. Instead of a power fist, he has a power sword like that. Okay, so I pref uh, for details. I use a Chinese brush. There, it's it's uh, it it has a bam bamboo handle, and it has a very very fine tip. Like so, and for me, it holds a finer tip than uh, most uh, sable brushes out there. Uh, for pra a, a fraction of the price, so let's let's start by uh, having the uh, what you call this the skirt painted like so. This method is a little wet, so what I do is I dip the brush in some water first. You can try a different solution or a wash solution for this, and then uh, I uh, have the tip of the brush uh, dipped in uh, some paint, in the brass paint, so there, as you can see. Oops. Just be careful, just be aware of... Uh, how much you are loading on the brush and of course there still a pretty thin uh, brush stroke but anyway okay there see if we can apply more on the cross I mean halo that he has uh, that's called the, uh, an iron halo okay so for the sword what I'd, I like to uh, do with this is to apply uh, gray and some blue with it so that um, it would shimmer okay more on that later I'll be just finishing the brass touches on uh, the okay so uh, are we done with the terminators now uh, not quite so uh, even though the sergeant is uh, a little bit uh, painted up differently and most of the uh, terminators are uh, dry brushed uh, already, most of their parts. Uh, still lacks details, so uh, more of that on my DeviantArt account once I finish these guys. And um, also as you can see, uh, the, base, the bases are not uh, flocked yet. There's still no detailing on that. So I'll be having that on a future... Uh, tutorial on a future video uh, which may be uh, including some orcs okay uh, so this this has been Ripo and I hope you've been enjoying my video so far subscribe or like my videos whatever and um, I hope you learned something thank you so much